everyone and to welcome to our channel Embrace Your Escape and as you can see we have an escape trailer coincidentally um, we want to give you a little trailer tour we haven't uh, provided uh, one on our channel yet but uh, we thought it's a nice thing to, to see uh, what do we live in full time uh, since we have two pretty big dogs Leila and Juno who doesn't care right now <laughs> and uh, uh, then two full-grown adults. Uh, I'm six foot six. My wife is five eleven. Five eleven. She's the camera woman holding the camera right now behind you. Um, and I guess let's just get to it. Mm -hmm. So we uh, got this trailer in uh, March uh, and picked it up in Chilliwack, uh, British Columbia, Canada. What about the details? The trailers from uh, front to back. 21 feet. I will put some more specifics uh, uh, onto the screen here. There, uh, it's 21 feet, and the inside of the trailer or the cabin itself is around 17 and a half feet. If I can rem remember correctly, but I will correct everything I say on the screen later. <laughs> um, yeah, let's start on the front and let's walk around. So here we have uh, the storage box. It is an option with escape uh, but uh, for us it was very necessary since we are full-time living in this escape and uh, uh, it, it has so much space and uh, helps us out so much with uh, uh, when we're for example boondocking like right now we have our bars in there from the weight distribution hitch we have our cables in there uh, when we're not here so we can lock the box and nobody just takes them we have our water hoses in here our barbecue hose uh, propane hose and uh, when we travel we have our um, carpet which is not small either rolled up and in here as well with all the uh, uh, x shocks and all that kind of stuff so that all fits in there uh, with the right organization um, it all fits for for traveling for boondocking and uh, it's a great great thing it's an option but it's very well worth it so it usually comes with two 20 pound uh, propane models uh, with an automatic regulator switch over but we opted to uh, switch to, to 30 pound bottles um, so I had to raise the rod a little bit just a little bit but it was not what I can have no job no problem um, this is the motorized uh, hitch hitch lift what is it called jack the jack <laughs> the motorized jack um, it's, it's an option as well uh, with escape uh, we wouldn't want to miss it uh, you get uh, usually with the base version you get the manual jack uh, which is great but it's a nice workout I guess for us, <coughs> for us this was for sure uh, something we needed to have because when we move a lot uh, and with full time we do move a lot uh, it's just one thing less to think about to uh, again up and down and all kinds of stuff. especially when it rains and you especially have to when it rains and you don't really want to be outside the whole time it has a your on and off for the light in the front right now it's not actually working because i pulled the fuse to deter uh, uh, people sealing it and then here the retract and extend uh, button for the for the motor to push out the uh, the lift yeah, and then it comes with this uh, very normal uh, um, hitch uh, that any kind of travel tailor really has. Uh, it's 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 a good hitch. You have to get used to it a little bit. And as you can see, we have this uh, uh, lock on there. Um, this type of hitch, you have to adjust the the, the truck when you when you un unhitch and when you hitch the trailer a little bit back and forth. Uh, because it has this little front round area you can't see it right now but uh, where you have to release pressure or apply a little bit more pressure to be able to release this but it's all just something you get used to and uh, we now have it all figured out no problem and uh, it works really well so the next thing oh yeah it comes of course with a seven pin plug as usual travel trailers do um, nothing special there uh, we got the e2 weight distribution hitch with the uh, sway control uh, we had an avion 
uh, from the 80s, uh, how long was it? 34 feet. 34 feet long, so not short at all. Um, and we had an airstream from the uh, built in the 90s, that one was? 30 feet. 30 feet. Uh, my wife is much better in those kind of details to remember, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> so uh, we had weight distribution hitches with those, but we never had uh, this good of sway control on the weight distribution. And what you have to get used to, but that's very normal, is that it, uh, when you're on parking lots, for example, and you go left and right and up and down a little bit, it's, it squeaks, but that's normal. That it's supposed to do that. It's friction sway control. So the bars push around on this on this bracket. So that's completely normal. And you get used, used to it and it works really well when you uh, when a truck passes you, other cars, you barely feel anything that they even pass you. You have to have the right setting, of course. But since we ordered this with Escape, they set it all up. I had to make an adjustment because of our truck height and everything, but everything else works really well. That's that. Wait to see you much. This outside light, external light, uh, is optional as well. We uh, got it because uh, when you get to a um, dark site uh, on a campground or on a wreck site or something like that, it's really helpful. It's only controlled outside by the switch uh, on the light, which is okay. Uh, although sometimes I have to say I would like to be able to control it inside, but uh, I'm an electrician, maybe I change it at some point. <laughs> Who knows? So, uh, very helpful. These uh, decals, uh, you can customize them. This one would have usually come with uh, Escape 21. Like the 21 is missing here and we uh, didn't want to have it. We just wanted to have the Escape name on the front. And uh, usually w with the base version, you can opt for a window here as well. Uh, it comes with a rock guard uh, because right behind here is where your, uh, where your bed is. Um, we didn't opt for the window. Uh, mainly because in the winter when you're full time and it's a little bit colder uh, the cold coming from the window our experience with that in our other trailers wasn't really good so we said no window and decal wise no 21 here just the escape yeah because it's only a single pane window yeah it's a single pane window and the rock guard is then kind of helping when it's closed to make it more almost a double pane but of course not all the way but that would mean you would have to close it all the time when it's cold outside the rock guard uh, but I've seen people uh, that ordered the escape putting all kinds of really fun decals on here or changing it later. You can you can do anything really. It's, it's very easy to change and you can even order uh, the trailer without any decals. No problem. It looks some people like that. Um, but we love this and the color can be changed as well. We have as you can see the uh, frameless windows. That's what they call it in the option. Uh, the trailer usually comes with the framed windows. Uh, they are really nice as well. Uh, I've seen a few uh, of these escapes on the road that had the frame windows, uh, framed windows. But for us, uh, the frameless windows was, uh, uh, we think, better for us because we can leave the window like this, tilted open all around if we wanted to, and, uh, and have airflow still coming in. We have, as you've seen, two big dogs. And when it's a little bit warmer, um, it helps a lot, especially with that, which uh, will I mention later. I'll show you later the mech fan on top. It helps uh, loads with uh, airflow. So the frame windows uh, would just be, yeah, you would actually see the frame and uh, they would slide open instead of having tilting open like this. And the slide open and the rain might let some rain in. But I'm sure, uh, different opinions, but this was our choice. This hatch is actually uh, in the base order of the trailer. Uh, there are quite a few hatches you can add as an option. We are uh, option for one extra hatch, access hatch, um, which, will be, which we will see later. Uh, it just uh, gets you to the space under the uh, bed and as you can see, it's, it's uh, big enough to get your sh my huge boots in. I have a pretty big uh, shoe size. And, uh, and you can get to the, uh, the most important things that you might want to put in this area. The DC to DC charger is right around the corner as well. Um, so it's nice to be able to see the light. Okay, what's happening to the charger and uh, to check on that. So this hatch is already 
quite useful for us. And here is the clip on to hold it open. Very nice. With the lock, they are the generic uh, locks, so uh, some people change these for us right now. Since you literally have to be like a six or five or six year old to be able to fit in here, or very skinny, I guess. I don't fit through there and... You have tried. I have tried. <laughs> <laughs> should have filmed that. Yeah, we should have filmed that, that's true. It was a sight to see with my six foot six height. Um, yeah, next thing. We have the outside water connection uh, for outside shower, I think it's called. And the, this is an option as well, which shows to uh, um, have one of those on each side since we have uh, two big dogs and uh, especially when you when you had them in salt water running on the beach and all sandy or even rolling in mud rolling in mud yeah that happens a lot too especially with Leila um, and you have your uh, cold and hot water control here mixer and uh, and it comes with a with a, with a blue uh, uh, quick connect hose and even for washing the trailer here and there, uh, just in between to get the dust off when you've been on forestry roads, it helps a lot. Taking outside showers in the summer? We've done that too, outside yeah. showers, yeah. Um, which then relieves your grey water tank as well. Um, very helpful. This is your water heater, fairly standard. Uh, it's a six gallon water heater, um, if I'm correct. And uh, so far we had a tankless water here before in our other trailer that I changed uh, from tank to tankless. Um, f we thought we would need it in this trailer as well. And my, uh, this, it's not an option with Escape to change this to tankless or anything. It comes with a tank, a six gallon heater, water heater. Uh, but so far I have to say we don't really miss the tankless water heater, although I'm a huge fan of uh, efficiency. Um, but so far this works out really well for us. So it will last for a while, I guess. Another outside light. This is mainly when you uh, uh, have to hook up at night again uh, with your, uh, when you arrive at a campground or something. Uh, I think this one actually is not optional. This one comes with the trailer. And um, again, controlled on the outside only, uh, but that's, that's fine. And uh, it's really bright at night. I had all three lights that we have on this trailer, the outside lights, I had them on, uh, on, a, on a, where we were kind of in a very dark situation. And the whole spot is just lit up. There's no dark spot. And, and these little lights uh, uh, do an amazing job. Next we have this optional TV. As you can tell, we haven't used it yet. Um, that's a TV connect. Uh, uh, there's another TV connection on the inside. Um, so this trailer is TV re ready for these wall mounted uh, TVs, but we just uh, and, uh, just uh, went with it because we thought maybe we can use it somehow later for like Starlink or that kind of stuff for internet reception and change things out. But so far we haven't used it, we haven't needed it, but is a good option to have. That's your furnace. As small as that thing is, it's, uh, it works really well. Except, except when the sail switch doesn't work. Um, I, I've been on the sail switch already a few times and, is, uh, and that sail switch is not my friend. <laughs> but I have to say, I bend it in a specific way and since then we haven't had issues that the furnace starts, but in the beginning, um, yeah, uh, we had our issues. But yeah. as long as it works, it's a great heater. Not the most efficient one. I probably would, uh, if I were to fit out a trailer, would go with a different brand. But right now is this one. Um, this is our grey water uh, drain. As you can see, we only have a grey water drain not a black water uh, drain because uh, well it would be the same drain but there's no black water connection because we do not have a black tank actually uh, we do have a composting toilet and you can option um, it was an option with escape to have the composting toilet and then they have the option to either go still have the black water tank or to not have the black water tank 
um, but for us it was more a decision of uh, how much storage can we have and the black water tank is usually under the bed and it would take uh, away a really important storage in our case as full-time RVers. Um, yeah, so that's the main reason why we don't have the black water tank and some people think it might be an issue for resale but uh, we have had two trailers with composting toilets and nobody ever has uh, really asked oh uh, where's the black water tank because they wanted to have the, uh, the composting toilet anyway and uh, nobody was missing it depends on who buys it and we uh, we it was no there was no loss in in our price for when we sold the other trailers so that's why we were very confident to go just with the composting toilet no black uh, black water tank and it works really great so only the dish water and shower water go in here and that's it this window is optional um, it usually doesn't come with the base version and uh, but it has helped us out a lot in regards to uh, air um, and and a, a little bit this little bit of extra light that you want to have on darker days inside the trailer uh, we wanted to, since we don't have the front window uh, by the bed we want to have a little bit more light in the center of the trailer and this window does a great job doing that and of course as i mentioned uh, just this little extra airflow in the center of the trailer helps out and yeah. that's the water heater kicking in just kicked in so far it it never let us down so i'm really happy with it so far so hopefully it does a great job in the coming years then tires these are 15 inch tires um, this is the base uh, rim uh, just a steel steel, uh, steel rim uh, you can option for an aluminum rim but uh, we didn't s it looks really nice and a lot of people get it because of that because it looks really nice and shiny and stuff uh, but for us uh, right now and we might change it later but right now, uh, this is uh, just an okay look and uh, it works well so far. I, after a while, we don't even, don't, you don't even realize it anymore. <laughs> it's just there. Um, we opted, and here you can see it a little bit, we opted for the lift kit of the trailer. That's an option as well. Uh, and especially because of the drain and all that uh, under the trailer, it helped us out already immensely on forestry roads, uh, or when, there, when there's an incline, a really steep incline and driveways, it gives you just a little extra space um, to get your trailer uh, to where you want it to go. Yeah, as you can see, we have the X shocks. I really like those. Those are, of course, uh, not from Escape. Those we got uh, uh, got ourselves on Amazon. And uh, yeah, the rust comes from when you like the ocean too much with salt water. That's what it looks like. <laughs> okay. This is the uh, back of the fridge. We have a three-way fridge. So uh, you can power it on AC, 120 volt AC, 12 volt DC, uh, and then the propane function. Uh, so it's a very common fridge, uh, nothing special. We like it, it's very uh, big, and we can store a lot of stuff, especially when we boondock. We need the space for the freezer. and. Uh, the company that builds this trailer uh, gives you the option to order the compressor fridge version which is pure dc um, we thought about it but the main reason we didn't go with it is uh, because of the freezer size we need the freezer space um, and uh, with full timing we just want to have as much freezer space as we can get otherwise you might have um, opted for the 12 volt compressor fridge like i said the, this one can do 12 volt DC power only, but it's very power hungry. Usually it's on propane because we're boondocking a lot. Mainly, actually. <laughs> we, like 95%. 95% is boondocking, yeah. We try to avoid campgrounds because we just like to be in the, in the woods, as you can see. Yeah, okay, so this is the fresh water tank. Uh, sorry, fresh water fill. This is your uh, 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 fresh water fill. Um, filling with a hose if you if you if your hose is long enough or those fill stations because we boondocking so much quite often uh, uh, I have to uh, have my two jerry cans and a little bit of a workout and uh, 
it fills really, really quickly. I think it's 28 gallons, same as the grey water tank. Yeah, we can, without showering, it lasts us a week. Yeah, yeah, it lasts, yeah, we, we do... With two uh, dogs who drink a lot of water. Yeah, they, our dogs drink, they, they use the main water, but they drink a lot of water, which is good, of course. Um, and we do a lot of navy showers and uh, uh, we're very water uh, conscious uh, with our usage. Then this is your city water connection. As you can see, there's a little pre-filter screen. And, uh, but uh, so far, you might have used it three times for a very short amount of times. And uh, it works well. So here we have two, not just one, but two of the sewer um, tube holders. It usually comes with one from Escape. Um, fits all in there, all parts with uh, with the angle pieces and uh, the long sewer holes and I think it's 12 feet long when it's all uh, expanded. And then optionally we have had one uh, added. And uh, for us, I mean if, you're, if you if you do uh, fishing and all that kind of stuff, you can put your fishing rods in here. I've heard people doing that. For us it's mainly our antenna mast for our directional antenna and really great close it forget about it well don't forget about it too much because if you leave it open and you're on the highway that's a problem <laughs> so your uh, while we're here and you can see it really well here your uh, stabilizers are just uh, the normal stabilizers you pretty much have on any kind of trailer um, you could I guess change them out to motorized versions not important enough for us right now maybe at some point but uh, these are the standard stabilizers that, that come with the escape um, although this one uh, this is the sand pad on on the bottom and there's even a little no, it's more dust than sand but <laughs> and uh, this was optional we added that and uh, they were very cheap and they just added them in the in the uh, manufacturing right away usually it comes without I think they still do it that way but yeah this helps helps out a lot on these kind of grounds. Um, it gives, just gives us this little bit of extra surface. Okay, okay. This, uh, as we often call it, is the uh, <laughs> Harrison connector. <laughs> Harrison is, uh, he's a really nice, uh, nice guy at uh, Escape. And when you see a trailer tour uh, on the Escape sites, um, uh, he, he always comes to this area and he says, this is my most favorite option. It's the <laughs> it's the uh, shore power disconnect uh, or shore power connection, and um, Harrison, we love it. So thanks for the uh, advice, especially me as an electrician. I appreciate it. I mean, I knew those are there, but sometimes when you uh, uh, look at options um, and you order the trailer. You're overwhelmed and you don't think about things and the original, uh, the, the base version, not the original, the base version comes with uh, a retractable uh, power cord. Twist it on, secure it, Harrison famous power connection. <laughs> this window comes with the base version when you order, the, uh, order your trailer and it's actually the uh, emergency exit window and uh, it helps a lot as well with the frameless style anyway we don't have experience with the frame windows but with the frameless version um, it helps a lot with airflow because you can tilt it open so much all the way to here somewhere and it, uh, on a really hot day or you just need that extra airflow it can help a lot okay what's around the corner this window it's the split window and uh, we love it when you sit in the the dinette is right right here the, our, our u-shaped dinette and when you have these two windows open already at night just gives us a little extra cool down on really hot days yeah our dogs sleep in the dinette area at night well at least for a few hours until they sneak up into our bed <laughs> <laughs> and then our bed is filled with Bodies. two dogs and two adults <laughs> this hitch that's uh, again standard with escape when you order your trailer and as you can see it has a receiver capacity of 150 pounds uh, which is uh, plenty we have two e-bikes um, 
that are on the heavy side and we were almost at the limits of this uh, capacity. Uh, the bikes were kind of all the way up to here somewhere um, but uh, it causes quite a bit of uh, extra like this little extra sway feeling um, when you when you max it out. It's great to have and when you have lighter bikes I'm sure it's not a big deal uh, but when you have e-bikes that are on the, on the heavy side uh, they're lighter e-bikes as well for us it wasn't the right thing but I'm sure some people uh, don't mind that but just don't go over the limit uh, you can feel it. Uh, spare tire that's all standard luckily we haven't uh, needed it yet but it's really great to have it that accessible as well and um, yeah spare tire <laughs> okay up there we have our general uh, booster for LTE signal it's uh, something we installed it's not something that escape riders as you can see right now my version of cable is installed um, this is your external port for an extra solar panel for the panel suitcases you can buy just to support your little uh, battery, <coughs> battery setup uh, if you need that little bit of extra power or if you're in the shadow a lot like we are right now um, sometimes the solar panels on the roof don't do it or not enough and you need that little bit of extra power and that's where you connect it to and that was an option with the electrical uh, solar package and we went with a full solar lithium um, iron phosphate battery package and uh, yeah we, we use it a lot since we're boondocking this is something we cannot miss now this is something you will not get with escape that's something i built uh, i used the zam connector uh, and to not have too many different cables and because of um, distance of 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 the external panel I use the uh, actual power cable it comes because it has a very big diameter and that's my rigging here <laughs> and it works really well no voltage loss or barely any voltage loss and our panel is all the way on the other side right now works really well this is our manual awning uh, that's standard with escape and uh, we could have opted for the power awning which is an upgrade but for our purposes the manual awning does a better job uh, the power awning is I'm sure is great but for slightly rainy days the, ma the manual awning you can tilt it nicely and uh, you can adjust it and gives it gives you this extra little dry space every dry space you can get when it's raining a lot is gold so we left it with the manual awning the only thing you have to be uh, aware of is when you have the frameless windows um, and you pack up make sure this window is all the way in and closed because this arm could hit the window and some people uh, uh, crack the window that way but you just have to be aware of that it's something you get used to um, the people with framed windows um, of course they don't have to think about this but we just love these windows then here we have the optional access edge and it's locked as it should be <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's an access edge um, a little bit smaller than the other one of course so it's something these quick things you might need for barbecuing or small other things in the beginning I thought I needed to get to the inverter which is in the dinette, in the dinette area right behind here and um, but to be honest uh, I have better access from the dinette than from here so but it's good for these other things that you, uh, you need, might store in this area um, hold on clip again as before very handy then your 120 volt GFCI uh, outlet it's um, connected to your inverter all receptacles inside are actually connected to your inverter and um, powered by your batteries okie dokie what's next this is the a lot of trailer owners probably know what this is it's the exhaust vent for your uh, uh, stove hood and uh, just don't forget to clip it close when you travel because <laughs> otherwise you might hear and this. wonder what is that noise yeah what is that what noise is, is something wrong with the tires <laughs> no it's this it's the we've had that before and you learn and um, you click it closed 
and everything is good. But uh, yeah, it's really nice. It's of course, of course protected from uh, rain and um, it works really well. The, the, the draw of, that, uh, of the stove foot that we have is uh, really good. We don't have any kind of moisture build up when, when, when that foot is on and we love it. Again, exterior shower. Option as well, we wouldn't want to miss it. This is your kitchen window. It gives you that little extra airflow uh, on this side of the trailer. And especially when you have the awning in, like we have right now, um, you can crank this open a little bit with the frameless windows, but in general, we just keep it closed. And uh, this window is, I think, open pretty much all the time at night, together with that small window on the other side. This is our keyless lock. Um, that's an option that you would have to upgrade to. We really like it because if you go on these short little walks on the campground or a grocery run or whatever, and you don't want to lock the whole trailer with all the keys, um, and you feel safe enough to just leave it with this, um, then this is a quick in and out and you don't have to think about the key. And so far it hasn't let us down. It has a Bluetooth option as well, so you can have your app opening it but we're not using that no we're we're standing here anyway so far as the bluetooth, bluetooth option uh is not really important a nice little handle to hold on to if you really either uh uh if you had too much to drink <laughs> or if you just need a little extra uh, push to get into the trailer um otherwise the door well and the door is the door <laughs> That's your bathroom window, that's optional. Um, we really wanted to have that. It gives you that normal daylight in that bathroom uh, since it is a wet bath, so it's, it's not huge. Um, but uh, that's, that's the main reason this, this natural light for us makes it feel just more cozy and, uh, and for ventilation as well when you shower in there on really hot days and you have this window open. Um, then uh, uh, it helps a lot of ventilation too. Yes, so I think, yeah, that was our steps. The trailer comes uh, usually with a single step, but because we have the lift kit, we opted for the double. But as you can see on some camp spots, although we have the lift kit, this camp spot is so weird and we had that a few times now. Um, the double option is uh, not really useful. So uh, the single option would have been enough, but uh, I guess we learned and uh, uh, it's still a nice step. And uh, you just fold it up. These uh, carpets are optional. I don't know if they still do that, uh, if they provide those, but you can get them anywhere. Can no, we, well, actually we bought them separately because they ran out yeah right they couldn't get them right. ordered yeah because uh, of uh, sourcing issues and i'm sure it's not easy for the manufacturers in general um uh, they ran out of these carpets we got the credit and then we got these later at canadian tire so um yep so two step and if you use both hands you can get it in there and it's, it never slid out when we drove, so it's, it's really safe enough. That's a really great option. Um, that's your exterior propane connection with your little valve here. Um, and uh, we just uh, really wanted to have this since when we barbecue, uh, carrying around that extra propane bottle just for the barbecue. It was just, we don't have a space for that kind of stuff. Um, when you're full time, in this kind of size of trailer you don't want to uh, waste space with an extra bottle although you have propane bottles in the front so uh, this is really helpful you get the hose quick connect again and uh, just make sure when you're done i've left it open once and mm. we lost a bit a little bit of propane so uh, quick connect option and um, yeah it's a really great option exterior propane connection i think that's uh, what, what they call it on their option list and that's all around around the trailer. One thing we could cover while we're here is the soda. Because now you can see it a little bit. That's uh, the top view of our trailer. You have, uh, since we have the 
solar package uh, one uh, 190 watt panel on the end there then that's your air conditioner your max fan and another 190 watt uh, solar panel welcome to our home on wheels um, standard door stuff uh, your mesh door with a slider to close that area uh, keeps all those nasty bugs out uh, your simple lockout here and uh, yeah normal stuff um, that's actually where the batteries go on this uh, keypad the light switches when you walk into the trailer are right around the corner one of them is for the ex this exterior light it only does this one um, and it has the external switch as well so uh, but in general it just stays like this in this position and you just control it from the inside or we do anyway um, then right next to it is the main light switch for the inside of the trailer for the ceiling lights right here and it's three locations that uh, are controlled one over the dinette thank you uh, one over the dinette uh, one over the bed and one kind of in the center of the trailer and uh, provides a lot of light can i come in i might be able to get in <laughs> uh, okay. come on thank you your usual trailer stuff in the entrance as well uh, there's a fire extinguisher right around the corner uh, luckily we haven't uh, any need to use it so far so yeah we added some nice hooks on the right maybe you want to show it tripping over dogs <laughs> for our heads keys and uh, so those we added and our flashlights okie dokie come inside <laughs> Use the handle. There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, that's our inside of the trailer. Um, maybe I start uh, with the bedroom area. Well, let's let's start on the right with the uh, with the uh, with the bathroom. All I guess. Right. Move over here. Yep. Um, Escape installs these cubbies here for the 21C version. Um, for us, they're really. Uh, um, really helpful we have all the dog leashes in there uh, we have our toques and uh, mittens in there uh, we have some extra stuff sun screen and uh, and what what not uh, in there so so this stuff is stuff you can easily grab that exactly. you need every day when you go outside and you it doesn't go on a hook or anything then this is the spot where we put it i think this is six foot three uh six foot three inches i'm six foot six uh, but and we went through that uh, before we um, ordered the trailer is it enough height or is does it feel too low and uh, is that an issue with like the AC in the way and all kind of stuff in the end uh, uh, the result out of all the discussions was there's barely any moments in a trailer when even I as a six foot six guy stand all the way straight or, or I need that space is it good to have sometimes maybe not important to me uh, other people might see it differently but when i do dishes i bend over slightly anyway when we sit in the dinette the height doesn't matter i'm not standing in the dinette and in the bed we're not standing on the bed either or next to the bed i go straight into bed so for for uh, and i'm very much used to get out of the way of stuff at the ceiling i'm used to it uh in my over 40 years of life so bathroom that's the wet bath as mentioned before um light is right around the corner on the ceiling and it's a motion sensor light if you want or you can change it to completely on and the motion sensor is de deactivated uh, as you can see we have the uh, composting toilet as mentioned before um, that's a good way to show it as well sit on the bed and um, we installed some hooks here um, uh, magnets are a huge friend of ours uh, you can put all your little thingies on those magnets that's all stuff installed by us um that's from ikea i think mm -hmm. um fits a lot of stuff which you can take off easily to take a shower exactly we just take it off put it on the bed or on the side somewhere and uh, that's all we need to do to take the shower well take the mat out um as you can see the composting toilet um 
with a vent on the left and uh, emptying out the, the urine compartment very easy. I actually moved the whole toilet a little bit further back. That's why I see those white dots on the side there. Um, because it just gave us the extra little space when we shower and uh, it's just nice to have that little extra every inch matters in a, in a trailer and very easy to clean when we do every six weeks mainly we have to do the main compartment emptying and uh, very easy you just take the bucket off take that hose off take the urine compartment out empty the unit you can see the inside window um, just gives you this I mean right now it's not very sunny outside but just gives you this little extra a bit of light and especially on sunny days when you have a sunny camp spot really nice to not have to have that uh, not natural light uh, light source on and just sit here and do your business and uh, the sink very simple sink um, it is a little bit diff more difficult to keep clean because of the way it's structured but well you get used to it yeah, um, the type of plastic yeah the, the type of plastic we're not really a super friend of it but uh, but uh, it's, it does its job right now and uh, the faucet uh, does really work well right now as well and showerhead? the shower head yeah the shower head. actually i can uh, go in there and sit in there so you see i should take my shoes off in the house <laughs> there just because i bend doesn't mean you have to bend but i'm just used to bending all over when i go anywhere <laughs> even when there's enough space so as you can see i can do any kind of business in here um, this is the shower head that we changed to the what is it called again uh, uh, oh oxygenic yeah this is this is the oxygenics body spa shower head and you can tell i'm getting old i have to do this a lot and i need new glasses <laughs> um, so this shower head saves you a lot of uh, shower water it has a pause button and uh, uh, the um, shower head that comes when you order the trailer is great as well but uh, this just does this little extra savings and uh, we wouldn't want to have any other shower head for this trailer um, then these uh, little hooks they are installed by us as well they're just little, little literally just uh, uh, a suction cup hooks from Ikea and uh, so far they're holding up really well um, well actually one came down this morning <laughs> but in general right. Yeah, that's Doesn't all right. Often. No, that happens once in a while. I mean, you have to think of uh, a trailer um, when you have potholes and stuff, what it goes through. So if you have a hook coming off the wall, that's the least of your problems. You can ha be happy about that. Yeah, that's your fan. There's a little uh, button here. You should open it first. There you go. And then push the red button. There you go. For a little... Uh, um, release of dampness when you shower sometimes we just leave it on at night as well uh, leave it open at night as well just to get a little bit more air uh, into the trailer close it medicine cabinet that's our medicine cabinet nothing special um we no, added no deep dark secrets <laughs> your usual stuff deodorant um yeah this is all life people <laughs> <laughs> We added these, uh, uh, these um, what are they called? Bungees. Bungees, okay? exactly. On these little uh, little hooks because um, sometimes when you're on rough roads, you open that thing and everything and falls. And everything comes <laughs> falls out. And since we installed these bungees, we just like the bungees better than some people uh, uh, put these solid plastic thingies on, which for them works well, I'm sure. Oh, don't yep. sit on the sink. Don't sit on the sink. <laughs> um, but for us, these bungees uh, work uh, work better for us, our option, uh, our opinion, uh, because you can just push it down, put bigger things in there, and just it keeps it in place. Like yeah, nothing's ever come out since no. we installed them. It was a great little thing, like yeah. cheap, cheap solution, but works great. Works great, exactly. Your mirror, if you want to see yourself. Sometimes in the morning, I don't need to see <laughs> my sleepy face. Okay, that's your bathroom. Put it off. There you go. 
Close that. Bed. The bed. Princess. Princess on the bed. Yeah, this is a very normal picture in our trailer. You cute, don't you? <laughs> yes, you this princess loves this bed for yeah. sure. She does. And uh, um, as you can see, it's one of those uh, mattresses that, that have this angle, um, angled edge or corner um, to give you more room to uh, walk through to the kitchen area. And uh, we, we love the size of it. It's enough for us. Even when the two girls join us secretly uh, and they sneak up on the bed, um, uh, June is usually on the bottom somewhere and Leila's right along here. Um, we have good space in this bed and we, we like that coziness. So um, this is, and some people don't like that the bed is right in the front when you come in. For us, it's actually the best thing because we literally, when we go somewhere, we just sit down here, put our shoes on. It, it has uh, two functions. It's not just uh, a bed. And uh, uh, the 21NE version has actually the dinette on the side, I think, mm -hmm. if you go for that option. Um, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, of course, you can put your shoes on there too. But this is just, this works well for us. <laughs> I'm getting dog kisses. Okie dokie. Um, we ordered um, this optional. <laughs> Oh, she wants his love. Yeah, she's lover. We ordered uh, the trailer with this optional um, side table, I think it's called. Uh, you can add quite a few side tables uh, on the option sheet when you order the trailer. And this is uh, really a good one to have. We did move it though. It was further back. It was all the way in the back. Didn't like that because my shoulders were like this when we were sitting and watching a movie or something. And this is the right, I moved it all the way to the front here because uh, uh, when we put our mugs here in the morning or even a laptop fits just on there. Sometimes we even sit with our backs to those windows and watch a movie this way. So um, depends on what, uh, how we feel, what we want to do. Um, then easily get that out of the way. Really great addition. Mm -hmm. Before I forget it, this is the maple version. Uh, the producer of this trailer escape they have uh, currently three versions they have contemporary which is kind of like white base they have maple which is this and then they have oak which is a little bit darker um, we like the warm feel of uh, um, warm feel <laughs> the warm look of maple <laughs> does it feel warm too it feels so warm <laughs> <laughs> damn um, but so, so we really like the maple look and uh, um, it's 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 great it's very cozy we love it especially with this floor if you haven't noticed yet it's the uh um i don't what is it called the again? name was it pewter pewter P pewter maybe yeah something i can put it in the screen yeah i don't know and remember. a lot of people order the brown uh, you can custom uh, you can custom order all kinds of different floors like you can choose red yellow if you want but the base options that you get with this uh this um producer give you so many options already to choose from for us the base was all we needed for us to feel cozy we put our nice little picture here this is the hometown we grew up in of course not the or original version of what it looks like right now it's like from an historic picture sometimes it's nice to have uh, um, take you home with yeah, you take you home we're from germany originally as you probably can tell by my accent mainly uh, so it's nice to have a little bit of uh, cozy feel, looks and pictures and hominess in your trailer. Especially when you live in it full time. Um, you can see as well, these captain's reading slides, that's what they're called. Um, mm. uh, they come with USB plugs and uh, we use them a lot, really a lot. Such like a uh, your phone, uh, we put these magnet uh, um, wall mounts on. So we just have the phone hanging here, plug it in. We did though, because we actually at that point didn't know we have USB um, um, sockets here on the lights. We did um, order the USB, extra USB optional plugs as well. Like this one, I think is optional. That one is optional. And then here we have a 120 volt uh, plug as well. I think, yeah, that's optional as well. Um, and uh, yeah, 
this does the trick like uh, we never really had an empty phone or if you wake up and your phone is empty plug it in all good okay let me get the tray that's the famous dog pillow usually it resides during the day here to keep our, our blankets and everything clean as possible <laughs> with two dogs you have to be uh, thinking about those kind of things the tray now this tray we installed this it uh, gives us extra little workspace if you want to work in the bed area uh, or you have food whatever prepared and we just put three, mag three magnets on there up here and you have to be careful with what kind of magnets you use because when you drive and you're on muddy roads you don't want it to fall down <laughs> and when you when you uh, pull it off you don't want to have to rip the whole cabinet down so yeah so this works really well for us and so far it only fell on maybe twice or three times yeah. on really rough forestry roads okay um usually you have I can switch on the lights here as well oh, look at that my bracelet there you go and uh, these two are I think they're in the base base version of the order once the, the, in the dinette we added and you can add even two more if you wanted to uh, but all that kind of stuff changes here and there uh, so it might be different now already they adjust their whole production picture as well on a weekly basis I'm sure so all this might have changed but for us this was not an option the other two in the di dinette were an option okay so here just some normal blinds so nobody can see what you're doing or should see what you're doing inside if you don't want to. Storage. For full-timers uh, as we are, a uh, very important uh, aspect. And uh, we have over the bed area these four cabinets. Although they all pass through, like, there's nothing in between. So you can fit so much in there. We have uh, my stuff, uh, my socks, my underwear. And a little bit more on the left there my pants hoodies swim pants in here and then from here on that's uh we organize it that's julia's uh, stuff that's her socks her underwear shirts and stuff uh, and the cables for charging right in the bed area uh pants and yeah so as so even here there's so much space behind a lot of storage we love it so is that all further down so before i leave the bed area since there's no dog on the bed right now <laughs> since then yeah usually there would be always at least one dog on here so that's why the blanket is here too and the dog pillow so um, she is. right like it like you we install the lift bed lift kit this is the opening that comes uh, when you pick up the trailer and we install the lift kit a lot of people do that and uh, uh it's a little bit finicky and tricky to uh, to get the right lift pressure, but you figure it out. And this is our under storage space, as you can see. Our bigger packages when we buy stuff, so we can uh, uh, don't have to go for small packages because bigger packages are usually cheaper. Some shoes in this basket. That's the water heater right there, the six-gallon water tank. We have outside access to the uh, that's where the outside ha outside uh, access hatches to our. Uh, boots uh, work boots files and there's still space there this blue stuff we put that on that's uh, just for airflow it's uh, literally stuff that goes under uh, click flooring and um, you get it at home depot and and, and those kind of uh, home hardware stores and uh, works really well especially when you you don't want to have this humidity you want to avoid any kind of humidity in these tight spots it's not your friend in the trailer uh, this door is uh, in your base order as well. This one was optional and usually it's here, but we asked them to put it here because we want to have pull-out drawers at some point. Um, and uh, this was kind of the logical and better area for this extra door for us anyway. Here we have our jacket, hooks. These hooks uh, we put there um, for like... Uh, computer bag and so that everything's out of the way and uh, this this spot is just perfect for it some people put uh, like a small shoe cabinet there i think 
uh, for us it's uh, better for jackets and, and this kind of storage space. Um, we opted for another USB charger here with a 12 volt socket receptacle. Uh, that's um, an add-on receptacle, I think. I think that is not in the base package. And the most important now, our <laughs> coffee station. <laughs> I don't care if people say you don't need it when you're in a trailer, when you maybe when you're weekend. We live in this full time. This is our luxury. Yeah, it's the only luxury we do yeah. not get rid of. Yeah, like, we. That we is, no. This is an. Uh, this is not uh, uh, um, anything we will ever not want to have because it's just nice to have your favorite coffee in the morning and that's why we have a 2000 watt inverter it comes with a 1500 watt inverter uh, from uh, escape i changed it to a 2000 watt to have these two running with no problem and uh, uh, because this is just very important we want to have our famous coffee and this sign is not here just for jokes it's important yeah. what's the point come on <laughs> um we actually, when we travel, don't put this uh, um, away because it's on uh, Velcro strips. On Com command strips. Command strips. Are yeah. your friends. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you, if you live in a trailer and uh, or even if you don't live in a trailer and just travel, command strips are your best friend. These guys uh, or this uh, artwork, uh, these tiles are very heavy. And we had then uh, had those tiles on, the, on these walls right from the start. They never came down. Those command strips are gold and uh, this machine doesn't even budge and we've been on forestry roads and everything uh, the only thing that we didn't uh, put on command strips is this guy here but this is light we just put this away the milk frother that's the name right frother, frother. <laughs> uh, that's your this is the optional window i talked about before from the outside um, uh, you can uh, order these with this with extra high yeah. drawer i think it's drawers all the way up drawers. i think yeah so uh, we just wanted to have this space for our coffee machine and then with this extra window for this little bit of extra light. Drawers. Uh, yeah, this is our, we have all kinds of stuff in here. This is our, uh, I don't want to say junk drawer because it's not that junky, but some paperwork and this one and knickknacks and uh, That's little the bags. junk drawer. That's the junk drawer. organized because we only have one. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We try to not have too many junk drawers. And, uh, but it's, yeah, that's your furnace. Um, like I said, it works really well. More storage. We have our potatoes, carrots, foods. onions, yeah. apples. Can you move? Can you move? All yeah. the heavy stuff. All the heavy stuff, yeah. I have to say, I'm not a big fan of, the, of these uh, these things that hold the door closed. Oh no, I hate them. I, I don't like them. Uh, I had to bend uh, quite a few of those uh, back and forth all the time. We might change it at some point. At this point, it is what it is. Okay, this big thing here. This is usually where the microwave is. Yes. Yeah. There's a microwave plug in there in the back, and that is, I think, always in the base package as well. It's not an option, it's a base. This is usually the wardrobe when you order the trailer, but we always wanted to have this as a pantry. Uh, Makes everything accessible. That's what you want. You don't want to have this crawling in and it's just we, we had it before, we don't like it, we need convenience and this, those kind of things. We might even add another one on top of this here. Um, then we put some pens so down here. We have some with the removable handles, very handy, and they stack all inside. Um, tomato storage, uh, this is the only area where some we want to have. Veggies. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so this we added. Usually you have a rod here. And that's where you hang your, if you want to have your wardrobe here. There you go. Here's our uh, uh, girl's famous compartment, the food, dog food stuff. Um, yeah. So much storage in this trailer. Full timing in a 21 foot trailer um, with, with two dogs and two adults and we don't run out of space. So. Yeah, we have excess space though. Yeah, we still have space, like I saw under the bed, we still have space. Uh, go from the bottom to the top. More storage. My favorite drinks mainly here. Water and whatnot. This is your propane detector for the trailer. Nice and low, so because propane is, uh, accumulates on the bottom, it senses right away. We haven't had it going off even with the dog hair. Apparently it detects not just propane, but famous dog smells as well when they have their extra air but uh, we haven't had that issue yet 
<laughs> our three three way it's called three way uh, fridge uh, domestic standard nothing special here but uh, it's we we like it it's a lot of space in here as you can see it's filled up right now we've been grocery shopping um, keeps everything cool we didn't have any problems mainly we have it on propane even when we boondock only when we have extra power to spare I put it sometimes on DC only but that's only when we really have a lot of sun and the batteries are full a lot of uh, freezer space your controls uh, on off uh, AC DC uh, gas and your auto switch then your level of cooling and uh, yeah so enough space for us and it works really well okay um, this is actually the at this point um, the biggest kitchen surface you can get in an escape trailer in the 21c as far as I know I might be wrong somewhere here but I'm pretty sure that's the case um, and uh, we opted for again this folder table which is so great when you have dishes um, sometimes we just like to leave the dishes in and because you don't want to always do the dishes every single time you just have some dishes you put it in there but then you do the dishes then you take them out put them here I usually work from the left to the right um, drip mat is then here and it, it, it's so great and then you're done you fold it back down awesome what else do you want that's the uh, normal sink you get with uh, the uh, base version of the trailer we added the drink water um, filter system um, very cheap add-on and especially with our dogs we like to give them filtered water so that's your standard uh, faucet it's actually a pull-out faucet and has a switch from uh, great for pot rinsing and cleaning uh, we added the uh, paper towel holder here some people do it this way we just like to have it out of the way um, what well, usually what it does is this we know we need to refill because it's <laughs> squeaky then <laughs> squeaky. Um, before I go into the cabinets uh, we added these um, jar holders um, and they're so convenient um, there's a lot of other great ideas uh, that other owners of uh, scape do like full shelves and stuff and we thought about it too but right now this is, works really well was, uh, was not expensive at all and uh, we have everything in there and on all the four rows, the only thing we have happened is and the knives really bang on the glass the glass breaks on the bottom but uh, we are working on that and these are literally just uh, glued on with silicone on the bottom sealed in the front so the when you have drying dishes it doesn't damage anything and solid really solid uh, we opted for the two burner stove nothing special I think it's even the standard um, we like it we don't need three burners two burners is enough for us uh, this hood love the look of it and LED light strip in there and not too loud either and does a great job um, then we have we added this uh, magnet uh, strip for uh, for the knives knives never came down maybe when you were on the bumpy road they looked like this but that's it <laughs> but they never fall down and we added this uh, spice rack as well these are magnets as well and uh, Mar uh, and Julia did these really nice uh, labels so we know what's going on I mean mainly let's be honest she is cooking because I'm a shit cook but I try my best to when I'm cooking <laughs> I try to better myself too okay let's address our oven situation since we have the stove here um, you can have the stove oven combination unit uh, uh, ordered if you want uh, but that's an option we chose to go with uh, our countertop oven electric since we have the battery power uh, well because I, uh, uh, we upgraded the battery, battery capacity we have and uh, for the amount of times we bake um, this works really well it's just a normal countertop oven um, we put it on slides so yeah it's the Breville mini oven actually yeah. Yeah, the, the tricky portion for us was the size, the width of the hole. And uh, quite a few of these ovens are a little wider. I added uh, a heat shield on the top just to just in case we forget to pull it out. So things are not getting too hot on the framework here. But uh, whatever you prefer, some people like the propane uh, oven. Um, some There's so many different, it all is uh, very often preference. How do you cook? What do you want to cook or bake? And uh, that's mainly 
what drives uh, what you really choose op uh, and options when you order this trailer. Uh, the upper storage overhead cabinets here uh, for our Max glasses. These are goes all the way to the plastic, and uh, like Julia pointed out to me, uh, they go all the way to to the end here. So we have everything filled up to the end with stuff we don't need that often, uh, but we have the space. And again, space through here. There's nothing nothing stopping it. We have these anti uh, um, what are they called? Anti slip. Enter slip mats, yeah, and they help out a lot. <laughs> um, in the right one, we have our plates, uh, some uh, medicine stuff, uh, um, and bowls, and those kind of things. And again, it goes all the way to to this wall. Uh, by the way, these walls are options. You can uh, uh, have every wall either uh, solid, so you can screw things to it easily, or the uh, the base uh, walls. These separation walls are uh, more lightweight. But we knew we want to put a lot of stuff on it, like these magnet strips or heavier stuff. So we wanted to have these, uh, the, the very sturdy optional walls. Under the sink, nothing special. We added this for the hanger here. Uh, this is our cleaning stuff. Um, the drain for the sink. Uh, we did the uh, pull out. We, the biggest question is always, where do you put your garbage? And we were thinking and thinking and and um, uh, then we saw this at Staples, I think, and these heavy-duty pull-out drawers. And when you have something, you cut it off and you just can literally just put it in, into the garbage like this, close it, forget about it. That was our solution. Other people have different solutions. That's that on the sink cabinet. Uh, we added the uh, towel dry rack. And here you can see why I don't like these snap buttons. Uh, snap uh, holders, uh, door holders. Let's put this other way. Because they do this, and then I have to adjust them again, push them in, and then they stay in that position. So, <laughs> might want to think about that escape <laughs> change there, maybe, uh, if you can. Um, same here. Storage, storage. Here's a sewer tube for uh, for the sink. Uh, lots of storage again. All. There. Open all the way through. Yeah, it's, it's always open all, all the way through, so you don't have restrictions on, on, on longer stuff. Or, or, and again, here's the holder. Yeah, there those go. two are the worst. Those, yeah, those two are uh, usually, I, th I think it's because this two are so heavy as well. It's the long, wide store they have in this trailer. Um, drawers. That's your cooking utensil drawer that we have here. And they go all the way out. So. Lots of space, all the way, and these are very solid. More storage. More storage. Here's our gold <laughs> storage of all the coffee. All oh, the coffee. <laughs> very, very important. This is the standard light that you usually have when you order this trailer. So you have like single, off, or both, and it's all, all LED. Uh, this is usually the same light that you would see on these three ceiling locations. We opted to not have them right away. We told them just to put uh, the cables there. And because we always like to have some different lights that, that are a little different than these standard plastic lights. Uh, these are great, but we just like the look of this better. And it swings when it's on uh, bumpy roads. And uh, I extended it a little bit further with a cable. Can you cable turn it thing. off so we can see the light? Yeah, sure. There you go. That's our light solution for the dinette. Swings nicely, or if it's too bumpy. And uh, all standard stuff. This is from IKEA. 12 volt light bulb. And there you go. And these are uh, the other two. Are these are actually marine lights? So I uh, have a separate switch as well. But this is what we upgraded to. Same here, the one over the bed. The Max fan is uh, uh, so important and so great. Uh, you can open this one has the manual opening and closing. Um, has on off, uh, has a thermostat built in, has a direction change, uh, air, push the air in or pull it out. Uh, and uh, this has 10 speeds. So any kind of situation you can think of is uh, working really well. And on top 
of here you have a smoke detector or what uh, what might what some people might call the bacon is ready um, sensor the dinette um, we use this dinette a lot uh, we cozy up on uh, on both sides uh, Julia is usually on the right I'm on the left and just when you watch stuff and just don't want to go to bed yet um, we chose to have the lagoon table which swivels out of the way really nicely and this is uh, for us very important for our dogs because the dog pillow is usually here on the floor and we have this area ready with a blanket or for Layla. Uh, Layla is usually on the top behind and Juno goes on the nice little uh, uh, dog pillow on the floor and they love it until they sneak into the bed. Um, that's your power distribution center. Those are very standard in the uh, um, trail industry is your AC power, DC power and uh, the specific what this uh, the special thing about this unit is because we have the lithium battery package uh, it came with a lithium uh, charger unit on the bottom here in the dinette area um, as you can see when I sit here that is usually how we have it and I cozy up Julia is cozying up on this side like this I'm on the other side um, we have the U-shaped dinette option um, usually it's just the two benches then your nice little backrests and pillows and uh, that you can all remove we put velcro on these as you can tell uh, it's very hard to just fly around and it works really well and um, another little, little bit of benefit is it gives a little bit of extra airflow behind the pillows for colder days when the wall gets cold to have less condensation so far we didn't have since we have the velcro i haven't noticed any uh, condensation behind the pillows on cold days and then this way doesn't worry me uh, around the corner our artwork as usual command strips again hold really well uh, this is the uh, uh, thermostat uh, for the furnace uh, very standard nothing special on off switch temperature uh, we added this uh, thermostat as USB powered, um, nothing special. This is an outside sensor cable that goes, you can see the outside temperature. So you know when you, before you go outside, what clothes should I wear? I mean, you could open the door and feel, I guess, but sometimes you just don't want to, you just want to see and put a hoodie on or something. Um, windows, that's the emergency exit, exit window that I mentioned before. Um, then the blinds again, these are all the same all around the, uh, the trail, so I will not go too far into that. Uh, your captain's reading lights, I think the uh, two extra options you can have is to have two more reading lights uh, of those in this corner and that corner uh, across, so we have four. We just need two, sometimes it's nice to have that extra light. The split opening windows in the back, frameless. Very nice when you sit here, especially when you sit like this and it's hot. Uh, we opted for this USB plug as well. I think that it's not standard, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's extra. We got as many as we could. Yeah, uh, USB plugs was uh, very important to us. We tried to have not to use the inverter too much and draw the power for our phones and stuff uh, just from the USB if possible. Because switching on the inverter costs you energy. And when you boondock a lot, you need energy. Again, lots of storage. Still got room. Yeah. There's our electronics, cables, headphones, storage. Um, Still half empty. Yeah, this is like, again, it goes all the way, all the way to the, to the ends, like yeah. to both sides. There's so much space. The, all, all the corners can be filled. The thing is though, you don't want to fill too much either uh, because in the winter anyway, or when it gets too cold because of condensation, you want to have airflow. But uh, in general, you have a lot of space. Well, there's some books, Julia's books, and board games. Yeah, everything you can think of. So much space. Yeah. And you can uh, use this table, put it on these rails, there and there, and uh, and then you can make this uh, with the pillows to another sleeping area if you want. Um, we never used it, but I'm sure it works well if you use it. Uh, we have another USB charger, as mentioned, we wanted to have as many as possible. And then we have another one here. 
Well, that's dependent, sorry. Yeah, this is the uh, GoPower uh, battery charger, lithium battery, uh, lithium iron phosphate battery charger um, that we got with the package. We already upgraded it. I will show you with what in just a little bit. Uh, right now, this is literally just a display. Let's me know the voltage so I don't have to get my voltmeter out. It's the older version. It's not the MPPT charger. And uh, uh, the way it reads battery voltage is just not, not usable. It's not good uh, because uh, uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries just uh, don't, don't work that way. With normal lead acid batteries, this shows probably really well uh, at what percentage you are but not with lithium iron phosphate batteries. But we have it upgraded. This is just for emergency display purposes. And that's all it does. And we don't have a hole there right now. So where do we store vacuum, you might ask? This is again that uh, ventilation stuff we put on. Right there, this is our um, very handy Dyson. Um, it's, uh, I tried to get a 12 volt charger for it so we don't need the inverter to charge it but um, that didn't work out. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, we thought is a good location. We have it upside down. It kind of goes into the laundry and uh, it doesn't fly around anywhere. And for us, it was a good location to have this. And we love this unit. Very quick to clean here anyway. It takes like minutes and uh, charging doesn't take too long either. Our laundry, dirty laundry, uh, lots of space again. We have back, a backpack there and um, uh, then here's the water pump with the pre-filter to the water pump and you have your water connections to the trailer, your city water, your fill, uh, fill station for the tank if you do it by hand and uh, the overflow pipe and uh, yeah, it works. it's not too loud, the pump is very good actually, we like it and then there's some maintenance valve here if you need but we don't win winterize anything, so we live in here, as we mentioned. Yeah, so that's that. Very nice cubby. And the other advantage of having the Velcro on these pillows, it just stays there. You don't have to deal with two pillows at the same time. <laughs> so it's nice to just be able to do this, right? Very nice. Same here again, we added the airflow thing. Um, can remove the wind, uh, the, the pillow, the window I wanted to say, we can remove the pillow, lift it up and this is our direction antenna that I can uh, get from the outside access edge. Um, and this is our 2000 watt inverter. It comes usually with a 1500 watt inverter, but um, since we try to use household appliances in this trailer when we can, um, and because they're cheaper as well, uh, you need this little bit of extra power sometimes and don't want to be always on the limit on the 1500 watt inverter. So this is one thing we changed very quickly. We have a battery shunt here, so we know exactly what's happening with our batteries. I added that, that's a Victron shunt, 500 uh, amps. And uh, uh, it's the, such a great upgrade. We know exactly what's going on, how full are our batteries, how quickly are they charging, are they charging in the first place. If there's kind of some kind of ghost loads, we know what's going on. I know exactly, especially as an electrician, I want to know what's happening. The only thing you can see uh, from this perspective right now is our extra batteries. Uh, these are, we have four 100 amp hour batteries, lithium phosphate iron. Uh, it came with the battery package uh, that we ordered um, 200 amp hours, but we upgraded and added right away 200 amp hours to have more uh, battery capacity. Shall we show that? Yeah, sure. Let's uh, go to those babies. It's a little more work. <laughs> yeah, to get to that, we have to. Actually, let's uh, sh at the same time we can uh, remove the table and that way we have more space. So you just have to loosen the handle here. There are two handles, one for this mechanism, one for the left one. And then you wiggle it off bit by bit. And there you go. That's your table. Yep. Very easy, I put it aside. Um, so now to have access to the battery compartment. 
we I'm never we never take those off so <laughs> they come away let's see i might be able to just leave that there yeah that one is heavy yeah lift this up 400 amp hours of battery power um the two boxes that uh, the vented boxes were here before i removed them so we have more space so that this is our battery bank it's all go power batteries because we had to um, at the same manufacturer with the same same specifics right away after we got the trailer i think we had it uh, uh, upgraded two weeks later and um, i put new ba uh, bigger cables on to connect them because of the 2000 watt inverter as, as well you need some more heavy duty bigger cables and uh, i'm not going into the details of that it's just too i guess too boring but maybe, we have maybe a different video different video yeah maybe uh, but we're really happy with this and 400 amp hours lithium um, iron phosphate best decision we could have done especially with uh, all the boon decking boon knocking we do uh, we do not run in a lot of problems usually depending on how long we stay in shady, tree areas shady and shade areas. Yeah. misconception clouds are not that bad but shadow is shadow from trees or stuff is especially this victron charger that are up uh, that we upgraded to uh helps with uh using the energy you get from the two 190 watt solar panels to use it properly to charge that's why it's called smart solar charger it's smart um to use it properly to charge your batteries and uh, uh it was a great upgrade and uh um something i would do at any point right away again uh, i chose to put it here close enough to the batteries uh, minimal voltage loss and uh, yeah here's just your behind uh, area of the ac and dc main panel um, nothing too wild or different your battery disconnect switch from uh, that escape puts there then you have your uh, another distribution panel um, for your uh, power AC power switch over and uh, transfer switch that's right there we have to be careful when you put when you store stuff in here <laughs> first of all don't do it too, too tightly you want to have airflow here but uh, it happened once we put the backpack there and the breaker switched off because of the backpack and we were wondering why are we not uh, I have that? no idea what he's talking about yeah. it wasn't me <laughs> sure but it was, was very totally <laughs> it was very easy to fix the breakers were uh, were uh, switched and because of the backpack S small <laughs> things you think about and you that you learn quickly yeah so that's uh, this a little bit of storage area there too and yeah just a couple of backpacks yeah that's it and here you can see actually what uh, there's some insulation on the fiberglass um, they have reflectix on the on the shell from the inside they have uh, that this vinyl is on there as well with some foam in between uh, like all over uh, we are very um, happily surprised with how good it keeps temperature and y yesterday i think it was we were i mean we have four bodies with the uh, two uh, dogs and the two of us uh, but um, and with breathing and everything but we were in here sitting in 20 degrees outside was cooling down to 10 degrees i think celsius um, and uh, we were warm we didn't even have the furnace on at all and no, at night we don't want to have to it anyway we usually turn the furnace on when it's around seven eight yeah. outside yeah when it gets to that temperature then seven eight degrees celsius just yeah. to like top it off yeah and then it doesn't run long either no because yeah, so we have we're set too low. very happy compared to our trailers that we had before the aluminum trailers uh we were much colder in those much more often so <laughs> Put that all back. Different ways of doing this, either step by step, but if you I have the arm reach to grab over. Yeah. If needed, that's one advantage of being tall, I guess. There you go. This is right on there. Very quick. Fasten it a little bit. You have to get used to this how much do you fasten to still be able to swivel it around it's one thing you kind of try to adjust to but uh, this is very good 
it wiggles a little bit but it's just a lagoon table it's one arm so it's in, in general it's, it's, it's stable maybe one last thing i can think of is the ac oh right yeah. we never use it so i didn't even think of it <laughs> so this was a tricky decision for us um do we get the ac with the trailer or do we maybe have a second max fan um we opted at the end to have the ac unit the base version is without the ac and you have a vent there um they can open and they can have cross flow with the max fan max fan is always in the base base version of the trailer in general if we weren't uh, traveling with dogs uh, and it was just the two of us at probably we probably would have opted for a second max fan but um, um, it's good to, the heat strip is actually pretty nice it's very quiet the fan in there is very quiet I'm, I do not remember how loud the AC is at this point uh, can't show you right now either because we are not hooked up it's but not it wasn't too bad no it's not bad yeah it's not the quietest it's a pretty nice unit yeah and I think that finalizes our trailer tour yeah if you want to see more let us know um, we can add on all kinds of specific videos if, if, if wanted and we just don't want to blow all kinds of details and specs on you um, just wanted to give you a general overview this is how we live with our two dogs who and are of course on the bed this is the usual position and they love it your personal warm furnace edition in your bed, <laughs> right? No, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, that's a look we get. Yeah, so if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. We try to answer. And if you think, uh, if you want to see anything specific, and uh, we get a lot of requests for that specific thing, we might even think about uh, making another video about that specific thing. And uh, other than that. Thanks for joining us and uh, uh, for uh, checking out our channel, Embrace Your Escape, and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel.